is, and this is my final story. This is the beginning where everything has started. What I will become and how I chose to what I've become. I got the idea of being a computer scientist from my brother. He's always been a great inspiration to me and wanted to become a computer scientist. I wanted to be a basketball player. But that goal seemed a little too far-fetched for someone of my physical capabilities. So my brother had an idea in mind back in, let's say, sophomore year of high school. He thought I should become a computer scientist or a programmer. He would sit down with me and give me this website. And this website would make me use the terminal software in a computer. Like those iconic things you see, like a computer saying, hello world, or something like that. Since then, I just wanted to become a computer scientist. It didn't seem like a bad idea, and I just really loved the programming. Next is progress. How, what was the steps I took? What classes I take? Uh, high school year was, uh, meh. Half of it was more me slacking off in the first half. The second half was me stepping it up. I really started to step it up in junior year. Senior year, I took AP Computer Science, which really opened my eyes to computer science. The programming was very, very user-friendly. I liked it. Then came college. College was more experienced. A lot more to do than just code. There's more than just classes. There's more opportunities that you can get experience on, like interviews. And interviews could, they do help me see what it is. It's like a little preview of what I get into the real world. My purpose, my purpose is to help people, but not only help people in a certain way, I want to help people by changing their future. I want to create technology that will not only benefit me, not benefit the people now, but benefit people in the future and change lives forever. But the only way I can do that is if I pursue my dream of becoming a computer scientist. And at first it didn't seem like a hard dream to achieve, but everything's always harder than it seems once you actually face the challenge. And here's self-awareness. I became self-aware of my feelings, what I'm capable of, and starting to see self-improvement. And here comes me, a new hire, fresh, fresh from college, going into my new job, in a little small business, little small tech company hoping to make a good living off of it a little hundred k a year good money i like this new job but i always wanted more like i feel like i could do more climb the ranks and because being down at the bottom is just not enough for me so today i'm here presenting to you about me and how I became here. I always dreamed of just, although my leadership skills are a bit rough 
it doesn't stop me from wanting to be who I want to be. I have other good traits that can help me with all this stuff. Do have my ability to cooperate with others and come up with ideas that could later help us improve in life. And on top of that, that should be it. Thank you.